So next up, podcast listeners, we have the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up? Mr. Producer. Here it is. And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is from Montgomery County, Maryland. It's called the Community Justice Academy. So... Montgomery County, Maryland podcast listeners has a climate action plan that was just adopted by their county council and their county executive, the very dumb Mark Elrich. And it has in it a thing called the Community Justice Academy. So a little background on this. And that's going to require me to just read a small story about this bill says Montgomery County, and by the way, this is in Maryland Matters, Montgomery County plan would achieve net zero emissions 10 years earlier than the state goals. In 2017, the Montgomery County Council declared a climate emergency and committed to use all available powers and resources to reach ambitious goal of zero carbon emissions by 2035. When the council set the goals for addressing greenhouse gas emissions, we did not know how we were going to achieve them. We really didn't know, Montgomery County Executive Mark B. Elrich, Democrat, said during a news conference earlier this week. Between 2015 and 2018, Montgomery County's greenhouse gas emissions declined by 3%. So they were already declining, as they are across the country, by the way. Elrich was one of the council members who led the 2017 climate resolution effort. Now, four years later in 2021, as county executive... Elrich has unveiled a 300-page plan to get to zero carbon emissions by 2035, which is, he said, the most ambitious climate goals in the country. By the way, that is true. These are, no doubt, by a county government, the most ambitious climate goals of any county government. It engages every aspect, every aspect of human life that you can possibly imagine. Montgomery County's climate action plan lays out 86 actions that would get the country to reach its goal and officials plan to start working on 75 of them this year. (laughs) So there are 86 action action items and they're going to do 75 this year. So they're going to spend a ton of money on this plan. And but that's not all what all the plan does. The plan also has. Get this podcast, listeners. You're not going to believe it. There was a draft plan last year in December, but the final climate action plan that was adopted just this week includes a community justice academy. What the heck is a community justice academy? A community justice academy includes community ambassadors, ambassadors, who will be responsible for educating their neighbors about climate change and encouraging their neighbors to reduce their carbon behavior. So you're going to have people knocking on your door who live in your neighborhood, and they are going to be working for the county government as ambassadors to tell you how you should be running your life. And every aspect of it, because let's face it, according to the left, climate change includes everything under the sun, and they can basically control you under the guise of climate change. So here is my MC Media, which is Montgomery County, excuse me, Montgomery Community Media. We have a clip from them. And here is, I believe, the Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich on the climate crisis and the emergency. Here it is. We've got to treat this... Kind of like we treated COVID, you know, with the same level of seriousness and the same level of urgency. (laughs) So we have to treat it. That was Mark Elbridge, by the way, the county executive of Montgomery County. We have to treat this like COVID with the same level of urgency. So if we treat it like COVID, does that mean we're going to send all the climate zombies to nursing homes? Just a curiosity. I mean, I'm just curious. Maybe that's what we should do. So here's Montgomery County's climate goals. They they. Spell them out. I think this is uh, kind of the media and Elridge kind of combined talking about it. 
We have that clip, and here it is. Montgomery County's climate goals are to reduce community-wide greenhouse gas emissions by 80% by 2027 and 100% by 2035. The plan outlines 86 climate actions, and the county plans to act on 75 of those in fiscal year 2022. Recommendations focus on reducing emissions in energy, buildings, and transportation, reducing climate risk, and centering racial equity, among other recommendations. Leaders said it will take all county residents to make the plan successful. So what does centering racial equity mean? It's part, see what I'm saying when I say climate change includes everything and every aspect of controlling your life and there's no such thing as a single subject anymore when it comes to a bill. The climate change goal or the climate change bill in Montgomery County includes centering racial equity. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that have to do with the so-called climate emergency? I don't know. But they certainly have this Community Justice Academy. We're going to have people knocking on your door like little Marxists, as they currently are in much of Montgomery County. Not all, but most, because that's the way they're taught in the public school system, by the way. They're completely and utterly in Montgomery County, brainwashed about this particular subject matter, and they're incapable of thinking independently. Not about whether there is or isn't a climate crisis, but actually asking, what is what is climate change? How do you define it? And then let's go single subject at a time and see if there is a problem on a subject by subject basis and then trying to fix it. But that's not what they want to do. They just want to tax you and try to control your life. So here's Mark Elrich suddenly referring to his Community Justice Academy, which we're now going to talk about. That's the big part of this bill. Listen to how he refers to this. This is government basically engaging community leaders and volunteers and ambassadors to knock on your door and tell you you're doing things wrong. Here it is. Now we saw that in COVID, that people when they understand the importance of their actions, did the right thing. And what we're hoping happens with climate change now is that we can help build an awareness of the importance of people's individual actions so that people will do the right thing. So people will do the right thing when they're encouraged and when they're told to do the right thing by these ambassadors. The ambassadors, of course, belonging to the Community Justice Academy of the Climate Action Plan in Montgomery County. So podcast listeners in Annapolis, okay, just to give you an idea of what some of these people look like, these community ambassadors. Here we have a great example because in Annapolis, when we passed putting offshore wind, we passed a bill that that would put offshore wind off the coast of the state and, of course, literally would ruin the view shed of the coastline, um, Democrats didn't care, right? Because it's wind, it's clean energy. And because it's clean energy, there's no side effect. Nothing's really bad about it. And they're going to put all these massive wind turbines uh, right off the coast of Ocean City so that you can see them from this beautiful beach where everybody vacations, so many people vacation in Maryland, and it would literally ruin this seaside resort. Well, in Annapolis, when they were trying to pass this bill, One of these climate justice warriors, and he'll probably be part of the Community Justice Academy in Montgomery County, he was uh, advocating for his cause for wind energy in Maryland off the coast, irrespective of the environmental damage it would do to the seabed, to the fisheries, and to the the, uh, migrating birds, and to the view shed. They didn't care about that because, you know, it's wind turbine, it must be fine. Everything's fine. Don't look anywhere else. Well, we have a picture of this guy, okay? Now, if you're watching the podcast, you'll see this dude. Chris is going to put this picture up. He has, I'll explain it if you're listening. He's wearing a wind turbine. And by by wind turbine, I don't mean like a little hat with a little turbine on it. He made this, this, uh, I guess he used, uh, what is that called again? Uh, Tin foil and put, (laughs) tin foil hat, right? He put tin foil around this tube and the tube looks like it's a solid five feet tall, maybe six feet tall. So it comes up from his head, this tube, and then, and it's all tin foil and it's like this thick, this wide. And then the tin foil at the very top, of course, is this massive wind turbine with these huge blades that look to me like they're two feet to two and a half feet in diameter and they're three blades and it turns, of course. So (laughs) this is the kind of person 
that comes to a state capitol to advocate for these types of bills. And that's the kind of person that's going to come to your house, the front door of your house. And they're going to say to you, sir, why don't you have a composting toilet? I'm part of, sir, I'm part of the Community Justice Academy, and I'm an ambassador. And my understanding is you don't have a composting toilet. Your neighbors do. And you're like, well, what's a composting toilet? And you're like, well, did you see the movie Why Him? They've got one there. you got to be just like that. Uh, another one, another community ambassador. Sir, I've noticed that you use a trash can. You're causing a climate crisis. Or, sir, you should put solar panels on your roof. Well, that's to be expected, right? Because you have to have solar panels on your roof. After all, it's your roof. You don't get to decide what's on it anymore, even though you pay taxes on the house. Or, sir, why do you drive an SUV? By the way, how would you respond to that, Chris? Like someone came to your house and say, said, sir, why do you drive an SUV? I'm, part, I'm a climate ambassador, ambassador, part of the Climate uh, Justice Academy, as they call themselves. I have to get to my job? <laughs> 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 no, it's like, why don't you drive an electric car? Why don't you drive a small car? That's what they're trying to get you to do, right? Yeah. Or, sir, you're cutting your grass too much. Or, sir, I can see uh, you must have a really high water b- bill because uh, I've noticed I've noticed that you have an irrigation system and you're watering your grass, and that shouldn't be allowed. This, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what these individuals are going to be empowered to do because this is the government training them indoctrinating them. They've already been indoctrinating them in Montgomery County from K to 12. And then they get out and then they indoctrinate them further in college. And then they send them out, these ambassadors to your front door and tell you how you need to live your life. And by the way, the bill also includes training in public schools for the same purpose. Training little zombies, climate zombies, for Mark Elrich. So if you podcast listeners want to say, oh, well, it's because Mark Fisher doesn't believe in climate change. Well, let's have an argument about that for a moment. Let's have a discussion. And we'll talk about that some other time because I know we're running out of time. But here's the discussion. And we've talked about it before. And that is, if you think there's too much CO2 in the atmosphere, then we should be going to nuclear energy. It's clean energy. Okay? It's clean energy, period. Especially the modern nukes. But Democrats don't want that. They want to tell you, you shouldn't be buying that energy. You should be putting solar panels in your house. You should be wearing a wind turbine on your head because only then are you truly virtuous. So way to go, County Executive Mark Elbridge, for being the ultimate climate zombie and having the dumbest bill in America.